Nobody would ever guess that in this quiet little farmhouse in Deeside, North Wales, there were 505 kilos of cocaine and also 180 kilos of heroin. This is what the police revealed after an investigation that has now resulted in a gang being jailed for their involvement in two tonnes of cocaine being imported into the country. They estimated the group to be worth £250 million. On the 21st of March, following an investigation by detectives of the North West Regional Organised Crime Unit, four men connected to the plot that was involved in importing cocaine and heroin from Europe were given lengthy prison sentences, totaling 55 years. The court heard that between the 3rd of May and the 21st of September 2023, Guy Remington from Herefordshire drove to France, Belgium and Holland via the Eurotunnel in an empty trailer. This was used to hide the drugs. He would then return to his Hereford home 24 hours later. Remington would then travel to Luke Hurst's home address, which was a farm in Deeside, North Wales, the day after he returned from Europe. This is where the drugs would be removed from the concealment inside wooden panels of his trailer. The drugs were then sorted into boxes and prepared for onward supply. Luke would meet customers at a nearby service station on Pinfold Lane and then he'd take their cars to his property where he would fill them with the drugs and return the vehicles and this was all to keep the location of the farm a secret. During the police surveillance, the police realised they'd done at least nine of these trips and the final run to Europe, the OCG, was rumbled. The police intervened on the 20th of September 2023 as they were removing the drugs from a trailer in the Hearst farm. This put an end, they said, to the multi-million pound empire. Hearst was arrested at the scene and taken into custody and following an extensive search of his farm, Roku officers found £183,000 in cash that was in Remington's vehicle and 505 kilos of cocaine and 108 kilos of heroin that was estimated to be worth 15 to £20 million wholesale. Searches of Remington's business property on the same day, they recovered £700,000 in cash, also numerous vehicles, as well as other high-end assets. On the 18th of October 2023, police arrested Thomas Smith at his address in Liverpool. Police also seized half a kilo and 9,807 MDMA tablets. They also found a notepad with an extensive record of the Onward Supply Network. On the 26th of October 2023, a search warrant was carried out on Station Road in Leatherhead. This led to the arrest of Morgan Towner, who acted as a courier for the OCG across the south of England. Luke Hurst from Flintshire was found guilty of conspiracy to supply Class A drugs and he was jailed for 12 years. Hurst is a Class A drug dealer, they said in court, and he played a leading role in this organisation and distributing the cocaine on an industrial scale. Guy Remington, 48 years old from Herefordshire, was found guilty of supplying cocaine and also heroin and was jailed for seven years. Thomas Smith, 43 years old from Liverpool, pled guilty to supplying Class A drugs, cocaine and heroin and possession with intent to supply Class A drugs as well. He was jailed for 18 years. Smith is a Class A drug supplier, they said, in Liverpool and Smith was the leading member of the group. He made regular trips to Hearst Farm to collect huge amounts of Class A drugs and he would take them back to Liverpool for onward distribution. Morgan Towner, 47 years old from Leatherhead, pled guilty to supplying Class A drugs and was jailed for seven years. Towner was a courier, they said, and he was based in Surrey. He would make trips to Luke's farm and move Class A drugs back to Surrey for the distribution. Speaking after the operation, the police said the offenders in this case were a sophisticated operation and they imported a significant amount of cocaine into the UK. But unfortunately for them, despite trying to evade law enforcement by concealing it in the trailer, we were able to watch their every move and arrest them. This is without a doubt one of the biggest seizures that Roku has ever found and this ensures that the offenders face significant time behind bars. So this story definitely makes you think about the extent of these operations and also how somewhere can just look really discreet. Most of the time the biggest dealers are not shouting about it, they're not flashing the cash, they're just keeping it quiet and getting on with it and making a hell of a lot of money. But with big reward also comes big risk. And this today is an example of the consequences. 
So really appreciate you joining me for this story. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. If you want to follow on social media as well at Scar City Studios on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter and Facebook. And you can always donate to the channel with cryptocurrency and also pay for promos. Peace.